Well, some of you may have experienced the issues with City of Rochester parking meters from them not taking credit cards to inaccurate receipts or no receipts at all or inoperable units. In response to this, one city council member is calling for a citywide audit while the city says they're working on a plan. Dan Gross talked with both parties and has the story. When you go to park in the city of Rochester, usually you'll see one of two kinds of parking meters, the five-year-old Palm or Lollipop models, or the 13-year-old Calais models. The newer models take coin, card, and an app, which is free to download for smartphone users. Sarah Nowak is the interim director of parking in the city and says these Calais models are, quote, nearing the end of life. And the Evans administration is looking to replace those uh, to um, provide a better experience. She says the city of Rochester is working on a plan that will be underway within a year but wasn't able to offer a time frame on when the work would start. In the meantime, we do make sure that they are working every day. Um, we have the parking mechanics that are out on the streets every day. Council member Mitch Gruber says there are issues with all models, not just the Calais, and is calling for all new meters to be the same in the future. I want to understand why we have so many different types of meters and how we bring some uniformity to it. It'd be better if we had one meter that everyone could kind of get conditioned to utilize that was clear that it was intuitive. Noack says it's a tentative plan to have all the parking meters be the same. Gruber raised this issue in a city council meeting earlier this month, but adds it's been on his radar for about six months and he's calling for action while the city formulates a plan. We need to do a comprehensive audit of every single meter that we have in Rochester, understand what's working and what's not working, reinvest the infrastructure, fix it all quickly, and in the meantime, give recourse for people who are unfortunately trying to pay and not able to. While this is listed on the newer, quote, lollipop models, it's not listed on the older ones. NOAC says you can call 311 if there's an issue. While Gruber suggests that the recourse he was talking about there could be the use of a dedicated app or website where people can upload photos or videos of some of these inoperable meters. NOAC says the city only employs a handful of those parking mechanics she mentioned, so she does plead patience, but adds that if you happen to get a ticket because you were unable to pay, there will be information. I do want to be clear here. If you tried to pay but were unable to, there will be information on the ticket on how to schedule a hearing, or you can email pvb at cityofrochester.com. NOAC says these get scheduled pretty quickly. Reporting in the studio, Dan Gross, News 8.